What's going on, Kingsmen? I hope you guys are all doing well, and I hope that you brought your rifles loaded, bayonets sharpened, and uh, just prepared, because this is an epic 4v4 Napoleon Total War 3 battle, and it starts off immediately. We have Russia, who has some guerrilla forces right here, and look at this, guys. Oh, I'm, I, I can't miss this immediately. Oh, come on, fast forward. Um, Russia starts with some units immediately immediately right next to these lines and they're going for something i don't know what but unfortunately i don't think it's going to work they're going to get hit they're trying to go for maybe some cannon but they're going to get hit really fast unfortunately and that's going to bring it to a massive massive close immediately um over here they i believe russia had some artillery over here i saw for a split second and they have some cab which i think they're going to wisely pull back because they didn't catch them off guard France was ready for them. But we have France, Poland, Denmark, and another French army going up against Russia, 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 and uh, Russia. So it's all Russia, I believe. All Russia going up against um, a French, uh, Polish, Denmark force. And guys, I actually got all the factions right. I, you should be really proud of me. <laughs> I got it right. So, um, wisely, Russia is calling the retreat with their artillery and their cav as uh, France is pushing up a ton of cav early on here to kind of scare them off, maybe take out some artillery and make them waste some money, basically. Um, but I don't think they're going to catch them in time, guys. I don't, I don't think they're going to catch them in time. Okay, maybe they are. going to call it. Call it off. But uh, so if you look on the mini map here, there should be a Russian force here and here, and then two right here in the center. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what they choose to do. Looks like France is going for this building with two. They have some grenadiers and some legionnaires, which uh, I believe these guys can form squares. So you know that's not a bad choice to send them. They can form square if uh, Russia decides to send any force. Um, Poland is sending some units of cav to help out and sending more cav over. So there's going to be a large cav engagement, I'd say, on this left flank here. Be very exciting to see what happens. Looks like France has gotten themselves stuck in a ditch. <laughs> stuck in a ditch. Logistical nightmare right here. Uh, sending some infantry up and tons of cav. I got some lancers here. Got some dragoons. Not really seen a whole lot of the Russians yet. But, uh, looks like uh, Russia's pushing up some infantry. I see their general right here. Alexander, I'm not even going to try to say that last name. They're pushing up with plenty of infantry using this road to take this victory point. And uh, there's just a couple French cav. And not a whole lot of infantry. The flanks of this Russian, or this French force are not as strong but are they gonna, I think they're going to go for a cap charge here no they're not alright well let's let's make sure we're not missing what's happening over here oh I'm going so slow alright we got some cap charge over here as Russia and Poland are clashing around this victory point and more cap going in for a charge Karen charging each other uh oh France is definitely in trouble as they're getting surrounded by the Russians. Our men are running, sir. And it broke Poland and and France. Russia has definitely taken this field. So now these infantry are going to have to either form square or just fall back because they have been outplayed over here. Now, on this other flank, I'm having to bounce between the flanks. This is ridiculous. It looks like Russia is just going fully into this. Look at that. They're rushing in. They're like, yeah, no, this is our point. And France wisely is falling back as Russia definitely has the advantage here. The center, nothing's really happening. I think France and Poland have done a good job of taking the center. And now Poland is going to be sending forward some troops to kind of watch this flank because... Let me get these out of the way. Because that's a lot of cav. All right, so a bunch of buildings are being taken. Um, oh, France. Do they equip this building or get in this building? They did. France managed to get in this building. Wow. And now they're just going to be shooting down upon uh, 
these Russian horses and they can't do anything about it. So Russia has taken this flank. Um, this French coalition, I guess this French alliance is going to be falling back probably. They don't, they know when they've been overplayed and it's a massive Russian presence. Um, reinforcing armies, Denmark I think is going to be hitting this side and France is going to be reinforcing this side. And okay, so France does have us building, so I think these infantry are pushing up to the relief. They better watch out because there's a lot of calf here. However, look at this. Poland does have some calves skirting around the flank. I've seen Napoleon Total War battles change so fast because of skirting calf. That was way behind. You don't see them until it's too late. I think they are going in for a calf charge. Going in for a calf charge in this infantry. I think they're in a form square just in time, and this is not going to work well for this Russian calf force, as they are going to be peppered down. They did hit this one infantry that did not form square. That's probably going to break them, but it breaks this calf as well. So good on them. Good on them. Oh, I'm missing another. It's so far, both sides of the map at the same time. <laughs> Russia in France now clashing in a massive epic cav engagement. So many cav clashing here. It's kind of hard to see who's winning. I think France is winning. Definitely France is taking this field. And just like that, the tables are turning back in France's favor. So well played on France. They have a lot more cav here. The center is starting to form up. Um, France had another engagement here, which they lost as Russia took the advantage here. Russia pushing up on the center. The line battle hasn't really been joined yet, but um, looks like they've retaken this left flank. Um, more cav coming here. It looks like they routed those Polish uh, cav. Now they're doing the flanking instead. So... Um, this is going to be so hard to record all the different sides. There's just so much going on on each flank. So Russia is forming up a line battle, looks like. There's definitely going to be a line battle. France has some artillery that they're going to be able to just pepper down this advancing line of Russia. You know, they got two, uh, two different artillery pieces here, total four. And they have this center. Not a lot of infantry, though, actually. It looks like... France brought a lot more cav than anything else. So, look at this. There's a massive cav battle that's just preparing. Russia skirting around. Denmark better watch out. Russia's skirting around the cav. They could hit them when they're least prepared for it. But look at this. They're just staring each other down. They're like, well, we'll take you. They're just staring each other down, guys. Look at that. It's like, who's going who's gonna to take the first move? I think Russia has more infantry on this center, definitely. Now, Russia has a lot more infantry on this side too. So they should use that to their advantage because there's reinforcements still coming up. But I think the two first forces don't have a lot of infantry. They have a lot more cav and the backup forces have a lot more infantry and less cav, which is actually kind of a good idea. So Poland is pushing for this building. If they can hold this, then, well, that may uh, impede this advance here because they don't want to expose their flank. Someone's hitting a building somewhere. So both sides kind of just forming up. These Fran these uh, Russians are pushing forward so France wisely is pulling back. They know when they are underplayed or when they're being overplayed. <laughs> they don't have the forces. They're probably going to try to hold at this building here and hope that that uh, France can uh, put more troops up to help them out. Oh, wait. Where is this? Oh, look at this, guys. Russia has some forces of Cav way deep in the lines. Looking to hit, hit uh, maybe some cannon. Some three-pounder. Denmark better watch out, they're not noticing it, and it's going to be a beautiful lightning strike as they hit this artillery. Oh, that was beautifully, masterfully struck. They are definitely going to take out this Denmark artillery. 
and that's going to cause them to lose their artillery. A general died too. Oh no. Denmark lost their general. That was worth it. That was definitely worth it. That was well played by the Russian uh, side. Taking on this uh, Denmark reinforcements now. Their morale is going to be severely weakened. I don't think Russia's doing much to their cav. I think they're kind of just holding the ground, holding this hill. They have some artillery set up, so now it's an artillery duel. They have some lights. They're going to start probably skirmishing down this uh, French force. And that's where the pushing is happening, of course, over here. where We got the makings of a large line battle. France has the cav advantage, so Russia is kind of pushing back. They need to get some reinforcing cav over here. I mean, look at this. And it's only three versus two, but... French cav is definitely better. Oh, we have some cav play over here as now France is pushing in with uh, Poland helping them. If they weaken this flank, then this whole Russian this whole Russian line is going to be definitely jeopardized. But Russia is sending over way more cav. France may be getting overplayed once again as more clashing. France is going in for another charge on the flank with Poland helping trying to break this so they can throw more infantry or some more cav into this engagement here. It's anyone's game right now. Our men are running, sir. Anyone's game right now. Who's gonna take it? Ah, oh, it's so close. I think Russia may have it. As they have a lot more reinforcing cav to send in. This could be a pivotal moment, guys, because that's a whole flank of infantry exposed. Or a whole flank of infantry exposed. However, Undaunted, France is just ignoring that, and they are going forward, but they're, since they're attacking, they're not getting the first volley off. But they will also get a volley off. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the volleys here. Okay, so Russia definitely took this Cav battle, and now they're going to be going for the flank of these, of France. Over here, Poland has a massive advantage, and I don't think Russia's even going to attack them. Which is bad, because Russia, uh, Poland should not be isolating themselves over here. They need to help their center. So, Russia wisely is pulling back, but they have a lot of cav here. So, they definitely have an advantage, guys, right now. They have the advantage. Their cav over here is kind of falling back, but it looks like France is going in for another cav charge. So many cav engagements. The cav is just crazy. Crazy, crazy. Um, Denmark is forming up over here. They're reinforcing some cav in the center. I like this aggressive push by Russia. I mean, Poland needs to send, not isolate themselves so much. Look at this. There's just a ton of them over there. Nothing fighting them. And it looks like France is taking this cav engagement, but there's some more dragoons from Russia coming in, so they could turn this around still as they routed one of the French cav units and now they are pushing forward and France is in danger of losing their cav on this far flank. Oh, oh my goodness. Look how much cav they have. They just have so much cav. The cav play, guys. I love it when you have aggressive cav play. It's just so gorgeous. And this, li li this line battle is definitely being joined. Um, France is reinforcing and Russia is pulling back. They can use their cav to their advantage. France wisely is pulling... Oh, man. France is, France is going to be outnumbered on this center. You have so many Russian troops with Russian cav. Not a whole lot in the center. And they are getting blown apart by some artillery from Russia. So I think Poland is pulling some forces back here. And Denmark, thankfully, will be reinforcing this side. But Russia is pushing... France is, this French faction's like, hey, help me out. <laughs> help. <laughs> Alright, so Russia is going to rest up their cav. This larger French line is probably going to start pushing forward here. Yeah, they're going to start pushing forward. They have an advantage now. Two versus one. And uh, this center is kind of quiet. France is wisely pushing back as they are going to be outnumbered. Extremely outnumbered by this Russian Russian force, which has some dragoons, I believe. 
or not dragoons, uh, some, a bunch of uh, grenadiers. Yeah, some, there's a lot of grenadiers pushing up. They have a hill advantage if they get up on this hill. And also, look at this, guys. They're getting awfully close to this artillery. Awfully close. And this is a bend, not break. But Russia is wisely not swinging around because they too, they're going to have the whole flank exposed, which is very wise. Very, very wise of them. Now, here we go, guys. This is a, a very equal line battle. Both sides lining up, ready to feel each other out. Maybe the feeling each other out is done, and they are just full-blown fighting now. I don't see any Russian cav on this flank. They should be trying to use that to their advantage, I'd say. And they do have some in the center. Uh-oh. Oh, Russia went in for a cav charge on this artillery, and it was successful. They drove this artillery away from France. Amazing victory for them. And now these guns are silent. They don't have that advantage to punch holes. And now Russia has no fear. They can, and they are advancing their infantry forward to push this advantage. France is now using this to the advantage, and they are following this retreating cav, kind of helping to punch a hole, hopefully through this Russian line. But oh, these uh, infantry are in some pretty heavy columns. This may not work well, and their cav may be routed. I love this. They have a whole line here. France does not have much. But look how France is doing. They're basically making it so that they can only fight an equal amount of Russians. Which is very wise. Making it more difficult to flank. Oh. Oh. Russia was not seeing this coming. And now they are going to be charged, unfortunately. And this is going to turn this around for the French alliance. As they're going to hit these cav with way more cav than Russia had. Well played by Poland. And now, Russia, I think, was probably multitasking over here as they're pushing forward some cab on the flank, seeing if they can kind of soften this up. They're going for... Oh, they're going all the way around, guys. Look at this. I would throw these guys in to keep these uh, French cab busy. Swing around, send one guy here, another guy to hit, make havoc in the back lines. Over here, the line battle is starting to form up. I, I don't want to see this. Oh, so France wisely sent their cav in. They know they got to deal with this uh, flanking force. But there's more Russians coming in. These uh, guys are forming square, but they can still run around them. They better be very cautious here. If they get flanked, this could change the whole line battle here. This Russian force needs to push forward. They need to put pressure on them at the same time as this force. If they aren't coordinated at the same time, it's going to be a disaster for them. I do like they are pushing up. There's a small river they're fighting over. Very small river they're fighting over. Popping shots across the river. Over here, it looks like the Russians are going to take this cav engagement. They're hitting these lights who can't form square. And they're going to do terribly against this Russian cav. They're going to break. Oh, they're holding off pretty well, actually. Considering, but Poland is sending over some cav to reinforce. Their general is wisely running into the square formation so that they're safe. And I think Russia is pulling back for now with their cav. They still have a cav advantage here. But Poland going in for a cav charge trying to soften up the flank and Russia is finally advancing they have an advantage here they have an advantage as uh, this French force has no reinforcements and they're going to be able to just pour in several volleys and they're going to advance um, pushing up over here I like this push I love this push they have some cav guard in their flank Poland needs to get back over here. They are isolating themselves. I've said it before. I'll stop saying it. Oh, cap charge by France to try to stop this advance of Russia because they know, oh, one of their infantry, one of their artillery came back. That is a huge win for them, being able to hold this line. More cav from France trying to stop this advance by Russia. Oh, it was a bayonet charge, which I missed. 
Oh, that's so unfortunate. So they're fighting it out. I think that Francis is going to be able to hold off this bayonet charge. Yeah, they are. And they're probably going to break these units too. That was very unfortunate. And now Russia is going to fall back as uh, they are not winning over there. So Russia still has a lot of cap. They're pushing up. They can take this building and then use it to uh, push back. What happened here? This must be from that French cap charge plus the artillery. They are breaking a lot of infantry. And now the Russians are the ones who are outnumbered. But they are holding bravely to the last man. They're holding this riverbank. But Denmark's now in the fight. And Denmark is pushing up on this flank as well. And they're definitely now looks like they have an advantage. Running, Over here, France is pushing up on their momentum. And I would say that they are definitely keeping the momentum rolling as they are using their calf, hitting the flank of these Russians over and over again, and Russia just can't do anything about it. They're forming a, they're forming a square here, thankfully. But, oh man, it's not going to matter, guys. I think they're going to go for a bayonet charge. Are they open? No, they're just getting a lot closer. They're just getting nice and up and personal. Being able to fling insults right at that line. Oh, some howitzers going in. Oh, that's going to be deadly. Russia still has some cap here. Our men are running, sir. Oh, there's so much happening all at once. Oh, a bayonet charge. Oh, no, I missed it. Bayonet charge by Russia. Pushing in, trying to put rush and break these French forces which it looks like they are doing France is now falling back and they are still being surrounded over here Russia is falling back they are losing on this flank Poland Denmark are pushing they need to fall back they have some cav but they need to pull back a little bit and push their advantage over here which is a massive advantage they have a massive advantage they are pushing breaking this French army and maybe they've overstended themselves over here these Grenadiers fighting some infantry. They are definitely going to push the, back this cav. I'm trying to bounce back and forth. I'm sorry, guys. There's just so much going on. Now Russia went for... No, France went for a bayonet charge. Breaking more of Russian troops. And this is bad for Russia. This, this just... This circle of iron that France is closing in on them. They just can't... They can't hold them back. They just can't. They have artillery. I would fall back to this area so this artillery can just punch holes in their line. At this point, that's all you can do. Over here, it's still anyone's game, and actually, Russia definitely has the advantage on this flank. Our men are they are pushing along. Denmark is going to have to send some troops to try to hold this bank. Um, Russia has fallen back, trying to hold this flank, not let this Russian force be encircled. I like this push by Russia. It's an excellent push. But uh, unfortunately, over here, Russia is falling it's very fast. This artillery can turn it around. They definitely can turn it around. I mean, they got an excellent, an excellent vantage point to uh, fire, fire upon them. The entire unit is dead, sir. So, um, oh, some Russians came back. Watch out, that's a general right there. Form square. Kill this general. Nope, they're running. Um, <laughs> they're still running. This is a problem. This is a big problem for France. This is a very strong, very confident Russian force, and they are just... They are just pushing. All men are running. Oh, and looks like Russia sent in some cav, which is breaking this whole line. And now Russia has a whole flank they can push on Denmark. Denmark's maybe pushed a little too far. Pushed a little bit too far, guys. Well played. This Russian faction is just saving the day, along with of course, the Russian faction, which is pushing some cav. Russia took this building. Over here, I am afraid that uh, it's just a desperate stand as now... Poland is going in for a cab charge on this artillery. That's going to just slaughter this artillery. And uh, it's just a desperate holding by the building. It's basically over in Russia. You can send some troops over here and hit this Russian force on the back. 
Um, Denmark should be pushing forward a little bit. I would say try to hold this bank here, but I mean they're doing a pretty good job of pushing back this Russian force. Um, and actually, Russia sending in some cav, pushing back Denmark's cav, and now it's anyone's game over here as they've kind of saved this. They have artillery sitting right here, punching holes in this Denmark army. And the carnage on this one little area, this one little knoll, which is an excellent place to defend. I mean, it's got this whole bank. Uh, Denmark is pushing up. Okay, so they are pushing up. They're going to defend. Russia realizes they're probably going to have to deal with this French army over here. This French army is just finishing off with France. Oh, sorry. This French army is finishing up with Russia. <laughs> and Russia is doing all they can to hold on to this building. If they can engage this French army for as long as possible, then um, they can keep them from pushing over here. Because I'd say Russia probably has the advantage right now on this side. Oh, so here's Russia over here. Look at this. Look at this. They were they had a couple troops here. And um, Poland is like, yeah, we're going to fall back. <laughs> we're falling back. But they are going to send over some more reinforcements, I think, to help out on this flank as Denmark is now consolidating their forces, setting up, preparing for another battle. And uh, preparing as Russia. What are they going to do? Russia has to watch out for France and Poland over here. That's what they have to worry about. Um, yeah, that's that's the main concern I would have. These guys are facing the wrong way. <laughs> that's what we call it. I'm gonna make from Kingston. All right, so they are falling back. It's so gorgeous. You see all these units preparing. Two lines of units. I was just, as Denmark, I just fall back to this bank, you know? It's a natural defile. I'm sure the infantry can't move as fast through here. Because Russia could send some cav along here and hit your flank if you try engaging this line battle. So France wisely... Okay, so now it's a massive shootout. And France is pretty bloody, too. Um... And Russia is holding strong. I am very impressed. They are still holding. And look, they got guys in this building. I think nothing's happened yet. Yeah. It's anyone's game. Oh, they're going in for a bayonet charge, guys. They're going in trying to take out this building. This could go badly for them. Or it could be the end of Russia. So it's anyone's game there. But this is where the hot action is going to be happening. So, wisely, Denmark setting up some square formations here. Setting up the square formation. And uh, look at this. France is just staring at me like, cowards. Cowards. No, I'm just kidding. That's not coward. That's smart. Over here, Russia is kind of just teasing them with a couple units. Over here, these guys are just lights, so they're going to be able to pump some excellent volleys into uh, these uh, units as they march up to engage them from Denmark. And now France is mainly done over here, so it's Denmark and a little bit of Poland. Um, look at this, though. Look at all these units that France doesn't have over here and that Russia does have. And uh, Denmark is stretching themselves a little bit thin. Okay, they're falling back now. Definitely falling back. Very wise of them. They're going to get surrounded if they <laughs> don't fall back. I kind of like this desperate s stand that Russia has. Um, it's, it's basically over. They've lost. But there's a desperate bayonet charge and melee right here. Men fighting that kind of reminds me of uh, Mountain Blade Napoleonic War. They're fighting. And these guys are just fighting desperately for this house. But I think that Russia is definitely gone over here. And France has won. 
So now Russia is going to be, uh, oh, push up a little too much maybe as their flank is exposed to these Polish cannon. That's bad. And now Denmark has the flank with some cav. I'm going to keep an eye on that because their artillery is exposed. Okay, good. They have some, art some cav because that's, that's concerning. Keep your cav right here because, oh my goodness, look at that. They don't have much over here. That's bad. Denmark is going to be able to use that to their full advantage. So Russia is going to keep engaging, keep pushing, keep the initiative. Keep the initiative going everywhere. Russia is falling back here. I think they don't like the idea of being flanked by this Russian force or this French force. Gosh. So they're like, yeah, I want to fall back. Oh. Okay, well, that's just the Russian general, I think. And uh, I think now France is going to be doing the long play, playing for the long run. They're going to be skirting far around. I'll just push it right here, you know? Might as well. Okay, so what happened here is the question, because this looks like a massacre. Russia is pushing, is going to hold right here, I think. They're just going to hold right here, fighting against Denmark, who is holding this bank. There's a lot of banks to hold. Oh, Denmark is going in, guys. I think they're going in for the cannon. Going for the cannon. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, just kidding. Um, yep, they're going to go in for the cannon. But Russia is very, very aware. But maybe not aware enough. Because here they go. They're going in for this charge. And it's, oh, barely going to save. I don't think it's going to save in time. I think they waited a little too long. And it uh, doesn't matter. This cannon is gone. Well played by Denmark. Now they have Cav in the back lines. Who can push up. Russia is now taking the initiative, pushing up. Oh, this artillery. They're already pushing up. And oh, beautiful volleys by Denmark. Russia has an advantage here. Better watch out, though, because this Polish calf has done a lot of havoc to their ally, the other French faction. And these guys are by themselves. These guys are holding off a lot of units. So I would not be very excited to be that unit of of uh, Russian troops. You know, Denmark, go for this artillery. Look at this. They're sitting here undefended. Hit them. Russia's pushing up. They're distracted. Just hit them. This does not look good for uh, Russia. Does not look good at all. Okay, so they are going for some more infantry. And these guys probably can't form square. Batter them, cut them up, and keep wreaking havoc. Yep. Just push the initiative, hit these guys. You punch a massive hole in their center, and then you can kind of flank on each side. Just punch a hole. Just do it. Alright, so Poland did what I thought they would do. They attacked this one unit, and now Poland is pushing across. They're going to have the flank on Russia, and unfortunately, Russia. Russia just has to keep pushing forward, I guess. They have nothing else to do but push forward. Another building has fallen. This general is in the front ranks. Brave soul. He's like, push forward, man. Um, and I like this, this uh, play on the side. Oh, Bayna charged by some grenadiers, I think. Yep. Bayonet charged by the Grenadiers, who we all know, Grenadiers do an amazing job. They do an amazing job of tr punching holes, and they are definitely breaking the center. But there are reinforcements. Our reinforcements on that side. Over here, Russia has broke, I am assuming because of the Denmark Cav. Which is finally broken. But still, this... Uh, oh, oh, look at that... 
Never underestimate the charge of Russian infantry. I saw the cab bear, or the, the flag bear just die. Okay, look at this, guys. These, these grenadiers are just crazy good. Over here, it looks like they are going in for a bayonet charge on the Russian side, but Russia, they specialize in melee, guys, and they broke a lot of, well, maybe not a lot, but they broke some infantry of Poland, and they still have some infantry here who can plug in that gap. And now another bayonet charge. Russia is just going in. They know they have, it's a do or die. Uh, this bank, like I was saying guys, this bank is perfect for defense. These guys can reform, send some cab. Oh, Russia has some cab hitting the back lines. This is very close. Russia has pushed across. They have to keep pushing. They have to. Denmark has broken over here, but they are pushing over on this flank. Poland sending in some cab as well. And Denmark is going in for a bayonet charge now. Yes, like sending the cold steel. And this may be the problem is one flank holds, one flank breaks, is what it kind of feels like. Um yeah. For France is not really around as much, but here comes some the general to kind of inspire his men. More just pockets of melee. Look at these grenadiers. They are just... Whew, missed. Oh, bayonet kill right there. They're probably going to break, unfortunately. Russia is just... I love this. They're just going in for bayonet charges at this point. They're just like, yeah, um, we got to go and do what Russia does best. And that is the bayonet charge. They have some units that are still firing across the river, keeping them busy. Um... It's going to take a miracle, though, I think, for Russia to win, unfortunately. But they punched through this hole. Look at this. They just punched through this hole. Look out, because Denmark is sending in some more Cav. If they don't watch out, then they are going to get charged, which, yeah, that's going to happen. Unfortunately, that's yeah, going to happen. Over here, Denmark and Poland and France have one on the flank. And now... Uh, what am I here charging? Okay. So, oh, look at this. Poland is behind them. Poland pushed it behind. I think they broke this. Oh, no. Wow, there's just pockets of just units everywhere. Russia's firing at the back. Russia's firing at the front. Denmark's sending in cab. It's just an all-out brawl. Uh, Russia's general's probably going to die, and that's going to cause them to break, most likely. Yeah, I think France... I think it's going to be a French victory. I mean, there's just... It's too scattered. We have killed their generals. As now, now the break. Russian force does break and fall, and this battle is coming to a close. Last desperate hold of these Russians. And I think that's going to be a good game on both sides. Well played. Oh wow, You're still a desperate. Look at this. The general is dismounted. He's like, I have not yet begun to fight. And he's gonna just <laughs> defend himself to the last man. Defending himself to the last man. Last stand of Russia on this hill. I think it's the last of the Russians. Uh, just charge him. You know, just bang it, charge him. It's over. I still love how they're holding so long. And the general's just sitting inside. This is so cool. <laughs> Here go the calf. I mean, it's a square, so it's going to hurt no matter what. But this square is so small at this point. <laughs> Look at them. They're holding. These guys deserve to... Uh, be able to surrender honorably. Let them surrender with honor. Let's let them surrender, you know. And now the camp form square, and it's over. So that is the battle in Poland. So Poland was able to defend 
with their allies, was able to defend uh, their homeland. So, oh wait, what? <sighs> there are more men over here. <laughs> so it's not over yet, I guess. They just gotta, just gotta push back these units over here. So I'm gonna fast forward because this is, yeah, this is uh, all but over. But they have not yet begun to fight, I guess. Yeah. Wow, these troops could probably be used. All right, so they're just gonna get volleyed down. Yeah, they're just gonna get volleyed down as they're coming up. Pour some volleys in of their own. Yada, yada, yada. It's actually a lot of infantry. I wonder why so much infantry was kind of sitting back here. Um, their general's dead, so I'm just gonna be surprised. Wow, they had a lot back over here. Cause that's it, guys. This is this is all there is. Uh, we'll we'll let them do their bayonet charge. I'm assuming they're gonna just charge the building. Yeah, I think they're just gonna charge the building. I don't know if that makes things win, but bayonet charge going in. This is our home. This is our land. And they're just stabbing. Okay, dude, you're ruining the shot. Like that one, that one awkward person that just ruins the shot. <laughs> should be game. Don't tell me there's more scatter resistance somewhere. There is. Oh my goodness. Russia. Why did you have so many troops back here? <laughs> okay, Denmark went and killed them. Alright, so this was sent in by Blitzkrieg um, on the Discord for Napoleon Total War 3. And actually one of these factions was not Russian, but it was the one that you couldn't see the flag, so I wouldn't have known that. But, uh, awesome job on both their parts. I mean, Russia brought a lot of troops. This, this Russian faction brought 2,200. Wow. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this replay. Um, I'm going to be trying some scenarios, some Napoleon Total War Eagles, the Napoleon Eagles. Hopefully they'll be coming out soon. And uh, on a side note, guys, I am almost at 50 subs. And for 50 subs, I'm going to do something special. So uh, let me know what you think that should be, what you would like to see. And um, thank you guys so much for all the support, the likes, the uh, comments, just any of it. I really love it. I love uh, seeing videos that people enjoy watching. That's why I'm in this, to make historical or battles that just people love watching. It's just very exciting for me. And uh, I hope to continue to do it until, well, for forever, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you guys stay safe. I will catch you all in another video. Thanks for joining me.